momen istimewa ini didokumentasikan oleh Plasma Production Video Shooting Profesional alamat depan SD Negeri 2 Sumberhadi, Kecamatan Melinting, Kabupaten Lampung Timur. Listening Section Part 1 Questions 1 to 5 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues and questions spoken in English. The questions and the dialogues will be spoken two times. They will not be printed in your test book. So you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. After you listen to a dialogue and the question about it, read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Sally, I lost my wallet. May I borrow 50,000 rupiah? Sure, here you are. You will also hear What will the woman do? You will read in your test book A. Leave the man alone B. Drive the man home C. Find the lost wallet D. Lend the man money. E. Borrow the man's wallet. The best answer to the question is Lend the man money. Therefore, you should choose answer D. Number one. Hi Susan. Are you interested in buying some used books for school? Yeah, I can save some money that way. What do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World and I'm selling it for $30. It's too expensive. Can I bargain? What are the speakers talking about? Number one. Hi Susan. Are you interested in buying some used books for school? Yeah, I can save some money that way. What do you have? Well, let's see. I have a science book called Today's World and I'm selling it for $30. It's too expensive. Can I bargain? What are the speakers talking about? Number Two. Would you like some chocolate ice cream, Sally? Oh, no thank you. Not now. I've got a terrible toothache. Poor you. You'd better see the dentist this afternoon. Thanks for your advice. What did the man offer to Sally? Number two. Would you like some chocolate ice cream, Sally? Oh, no thank you. Not now. I've got a terrible toothache. Poor you. You'd better see the dentist this afternoon. Thanks for your advice. What did the man offer to Sally? Number three. We want to hire a car for our trip next week. Could you arrange it? No problem. Give me 15 minutes or so. What kind of car do you need? What do you think is good? SUV, station wagon, van or sport? What about a sports model? I'm sure you'd like it. What will the woman do? Number three. We want to hire a car for our trip next week. Could you arrange it? No problem. Give me 15 minutes or so. What kind of car do you need? 
What do you think is good? SUV, station wagon, van or sport? What about a sports model? I'm sure you'd like it. What will the woman do? Number four. Hi Lenny, how was your weekend? Hi Max, I had a great time. We went on a picnic in the countryside. What about you? I'm sure you had a wonderful weekend. Oh no, I stayed at home and did the cleaning. What topic are they talking about? Number four. Hi Lenny, how was your weekend? Hi Max, I had a great time. We went on a picnic in the countryside. What about you? I'm sure you had a wonderful weekend. Oh no, I stayed at home and did the cleaning. What topic are they talking about? Number five. Mother, have you got everything you need? I'm afraid I haven't. I need some fruit for the dinner on your birthday. All right, let's go to the fruit section. Which fruit do you want to buy? I think grapes. Which picture goes with the conversation? Number five. Mother, have you got everything you need? I'm afraid I haven't. I need some fruit for the dinner on your birthday. All right, let's go to the fruit section. Which fruit do you want to buy? I think grapes. Which picture goes with the conversation? Part 2. Questions 6 to 10. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear some dialogues and questions spoken in English, followed by four responses, also spoken in English. The dialogues and questions and the responses will be spoken two times. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. You have to choose the best response to each question. Now listen to a sample question. I got a bad result in my test. What? You failed again? A. Let me try again. B. I am fine, thank you. C. Don't worry, I'll move. D. Sorry, I've disappointed you. The best answer to the question, you failed again, is choice D. Sorry, I've disappointed you. Therefore, you should choose answer D. Number six. Why do you look so sad? My garden was damaged very badly by the storm last night. A. Wow, you have the most beautiful garden in the neighborhood. B. I am truly sorry to hear it. You have worked so hard on it. C. It was pretty bad for him, but I think he is okay. D. I almost ruined it. I am really sorry. Number 6. Why do you look so sad? My garden was damaged very badly by the storm last night. A. Wow, you have the most beautiful garden in the neighborhood. B. 
I am truly sorry to hear it. You have worked so hard on it. C. It was pretty bad for him, but I think he is okay. D. I almost ruined it. I am really sorry. Number seven. Happy Teacher's Day, Mum. Thank you, Buddy. I'm happy you remember this day. On behalf of all students in our class, please accept these beautiful roses to show our gratitude to you. A. You are our most handsome student. B. Flowers are beautiful. C. We always love flowers. D. That's very kind of you. Number seven. Happy Teacher's Day, Mum. Thank you, Buddy. I'm happy you remember this day. On behalf of all students in our class, please accept these beautiful roses to show our gratitude to you. A. You are our most handsome student. B. Flowers are beautiful. C. We always love flowers. D. That's very kind of you. Number 8. Father, can I join a homestay program in Australia next holiday? In Australia? Yes. Am I allowed to join? A. No, thank you. B. No, you are not. C. No, don't bother. D. No, you wouldn't. Number 8. Father, can I join a homestay program in Australia next holiday? In Australia? Yes. Am I allowed to join? A. No, thank you. B. No, you are not. C. No, don't bother. D. No, you wouldn't. Number 9. Did you take my jacket? Yes, I took it because I can't stand the cold. A. Sorry, I will turn it off in a second. B. I thought I asked you to bring the jacket. C. I don't know, maybe I'm coming down with something. D. I am really disappointed. You should have asked me before you took it. Number 9. Did you take my jacket? Yes, I took it because I can't stand the cold. A. Sorry, I will turn it off in a second. B. I thought I asked you to bring the jacket. C. I don't know. Maybe I'm coming down with something. D. I am really disappointed. You should have asked me before you took it. Number 10. Hello Richard. Why were you calling me? We would like to have a small party at our house this afternoon. Will you join us? A. It's really wonderful. B. 
It's not your business. C. Yes, I have a small party. D. I'd love to, but I have to be at home. Number 10. Hello, Richard. Why were you calling me? We would like to have a small party at our house this afternoon. Will you join us? A. It's really wonderful. B. It's not your business. C. Yes, I have a small party. D. I'd love to, but I have to be at home. Part 3. Questions 11 to 15. Directions. In this part of the test, you will hear several monologues. Each monologue will be spoken two times. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speakers say. After you hear a monologue and the question about it, Read the five possible answers and decide which one would be the best answer to the question you have heard. Number 11. Have you met my best friend Alisa? Alisa and I have been friends since we were in kindergarten. Not only kind-hearted, she is also sweet and good-looking. She has a fair complexion, pointed nose, dark black hair which is tied into two parts. Which picture most likely shows Alyssa? Number 11. Have you met my best friend Alisa? Alisa and I have been friends since we were in kindergarten. Not only kind-hearted, she is also sweet and good-looking. She has a fair complexion, pointed nose, dark black hair which is tied into two parts. Which picture most likely shows Alyssa. This text is for questions 12 to 13. There is a girl called Little Red Riding Hood because she always wears a red hooded cape or cloak. One day the girl walks through the woods to deliver food to her sick grandmother. A wolf wants to eat the girl but is afraid to do so in public. He approaches the girl and she naively tells him where she is going. He suggests the girl pick some flowers which she does. In the meantime the wolf goes to the grandmother's house and enters the house by pretending to be the girl. He swallows the grandmother whole and then waits for the girl. He disguises himself as the grandmother. When the girl arrives, he swallows her whole too. Number 12. Where is the girl going one day? Number 13. How does the wolf enter the girl's grandmother's house? This text is for questions 12 to 13. There is a girl called Little Red Riding Hood 
because she always wears a red hooded cape or cloak. One day the girl walks through the woods to deliver food to her sick grandmother. A wolf wants to eat the girl but is afraid to do so in public. He approaches the girl and she naively tells him where she is going. He suggests the girl pick some flowers, which she does. In the meantime, the wolf goes to the grandmother's house and enters the house by pretending to be the girl. He swallows the grandmother whole and then waits for the girl. He disguises himself as the grandmother. When the girl arrives, he swallows her whole too. Number 12. Where is the girl going one day? Number 13. How does the wolf enter the girl's grandmother's house? This text is for questions 14 to 15. The black mamba is one of Africa's most dangerous and feared snakes. It has a wide range of known locations throughout Africa. Kenya. The name black mamba is somewhat confusing because it contradicts the snake's actual colour. Its body is not black at all. The name is given to it because of its inky black mouth. Normally, mumbas have a dark olive, olive green, grey-brown or metal colour. Some of them have a light band around their body. As mumbas get older, their skin begins to darken. Number 14. Where can we find these snakes? Number 15. What colour mouth do these snakes usually have? This text is for questions 14 to 15. The black mamba is one of Africa's most dangerous and feared snakes. It has a wide range of known locations throughout Africa. Kenya. The name black mamba is somewhat confusing because it contradicts the snake's actual colour. Its body is not black at all. The name is given to it because of its inky black mouth. Normally, mumbas have a dark olive, olive green, grey-brown or metal colour. Some of them have a light band around their body. As mumbas get older, their skin begins to darken. Number 14. Where can we find these snakes? Number 15. What colour mouth do these snakes usually have? This is the end of the listening section. Momen istimewa ini didokumentasikan oleh Plasma Production Video Shooting Profesional alamat depan SD Negeri 2 Sumberhadi, Kecamatan Melinting, Kabupaten Lampung Timur.